Okay, let's start with building our single product view. And first of all, like the, the tree view can get quite complex. So I'm using a handy feature called auto collapse on level four. And that means that the tree will automatically collapse unless I select an element and then I'm able to see the element and in all its structure but everything else is uh, hidden. That's quite useful. Okay, so the first kind of thing we have to do, let, let's first let, take a look at the product of the WooCommerce actions in the WordPress panel. So we have a group of product actions that are used to display information about one particular product like the title, price, short description, and so on. And then we have product loop actions, and these are actions used to display a list of products. Show products, the count, order by, a thumbnail of product in the list, or add to cart button for the product in the list. And then we have category actions used to display project product categories and other actions that don't really fit into above categories such as page title breadcrumbs sidebar and so on and we'll cover all of this so this is just the orientation so now when we start with the product with a single product first thing we need to do is like figure out which is the element that contains the single product view. And in our case, it's quite clear that this, this is the one. And then we have to add the single product action to this element. And this tells Pinegrow and WooCommerce that this element will contain the display of a single product. And here we see we have, it has a couple of um, arguments, pa parameters. So layout mode. How do we want to display the information? We have two options. Using hooks or freestyle. So what, let's, let's first explain the hooks. And the easiest, I guess, explanation is we will just export this command s so it single pro product got exported so let's take a look at the code woocommerce single product and here we see like the code okay it's we get the header and we get the footer and then this is a loop that goes through all products and in this case it will be only one product and then here we have we are triggering work woocommerce actions before single product and then here be, before single product summary single product summary after single product summary woocommerce after single product so what happens? Yeah, let, let's take a look actually at, at the result. So what happens is WooCommerce exported their own, its own kind of default um, information that is connected to these actions. So if we Take a look before product summary and go into template hooks. So we can see what everything, all the functions that are connected to this action. So we have show product sale flash, so that's like a, a sale sticker. And here it is. And then we also have show product images. 
and here are product images. And if we would take a look at um, like the single product summary, then we would see all the information that is connected to this action. So we have title, rating, price, excerpt, meta information, sharing. So this is like the name, the rating, the price, um, availability, tabs, and so on. And we notice that at the moment, all of this is it's just dumped into our element into div that had the single product action so there is no layout whatsoever and we can use these settings to implement kind of to put this information in, into specific elements so let's say before summary that's usually cell flash and image so let's select element for it So this is the left column, so it should go there, right? So let's select it and open so we can see. See now before summary, Pinegro gave a name to this element before summary and connected this name to this setting here so that it's easier for us to see like, what's going on with these elements, how they are used. OK, and then summary, like the title, the name, the rating. We can use, display this in the right column. And then tabs and upsells, we can either displaying the main element or we can also use the, the left column to display those and let's export and if we now take a look at the single product we can see that our our layout is exported as well and then these WooCommerce actions are triggered where where we instructed that we want them. So this is the the left column and then this is the right column. And let's take a look in the browser, in the page. So now the page has our layout with left and right column, although all the information that is displayed here is still like default WooCommerce uh, layout and styling. So let's start by customizing the product title. 